which looks largely to have been logistic, largely a matter of delivery, largely a matter of processing delivery and getting it prepared for proper delivery deeper below. So you, you find yourself in what to our eyes might look like the back end of an airport. Right. Right. Or, you know, where if you've ever been in those spaces where the public doesn't go, you know, where they're actually have, like where all those different luggage, you know, conveyor belts are all crisscrossing and, uh, and there's like people pushing push carts and all sorts of weird activity. And it's all got a completely different atmosphere from the airport airport that we're used to walking around in. Um, it's, it's a lot like that. I'm thinking of these kind of open spaces with all these different slightly incomprehensible equipment. It all looks pretty unused, pretty unused, but strangely not all beaten up and broken up. Okay. Well, um, I'm going in and uh, I'm bringing as many drones as I can to, and I'm going to have them scatter, mm -hmm. you know, Go find a hole, essentially, and explore that hole. And uh, and essentially, what they'll do is they'll just leave, kind of like an ant, leave their trail. Right. So, right. you know, so they're just spreading out looking, or like bees, you know, the way they navigate and stuff where it's like, you know. Oh, yeah, oh, no, I, I get that. Here. Yeah, the, the, I, I got you exactly, in fact. Uh, let's get a quick look here. Back to those notes. Oh, so many things. Its physical extent, the available technologies, the possible or suspected dangers, the things that are obviously mysterious, um, the, the, the history, the evident history that you might be able to get from observation or guesses that you might make, implications of culture, anything like that. Um, the, the organized exploration the the agreement is of course that everybody will share all the information and it will be properly collated and analyzed and you know that that this in no way is supposed to be some sort of competitive resource grab nobody would dream of such a thing of course right yes sorry helma what's up um i have one question about the structure mm -hmm. How, let's say, airy is it? Ah, um, well, uh, the AVIX have sent a team there already. So um, even though you're not present, you're back at the AVIX base. Please no, because right. it right. sounds like confined spaces. Well, the, the, the area that you're in, that they're in right now, that top level, is has a fairly high ceiling. Avix wouldn't like it because you can't fly out of a ceiling, but it is still, I mean, it is a structure that you could fly around in. The extent to which the lower levels are more confined is a good question. That is not known yet. So um, using kind of the model that I have in my head of that airport space, I had to go long ago, long ago, through the vagaries of somebody saying, oh, for God's sake, you know, I don't know, sir, it's okay. You just, you know, pull aside this door that you don't even know is a door in the airport, right? You know, open this door and go, go check it out. I think it should be in there. It should be right over in there somewhere. And you suddenly find yourself in this surreal space that's like enormous with this high ceiling and it goes all these places and you realize you cannot relate it to the airport that you know outside. that you've walked yeah. in a hundred times and it's kind of both outside and inside because there's a roof but but it's open to the air you know you're feeling the outside air and and all these guys and people and workers are running around in their kind of teamster looking uniforms you know doing stuff and all the luggage yeah. is going all these different directions and all the little go-karts are being driven around and stuff and you're like this was here and there's this pile of luggage just sitting there completely disorganized and mine is just sitting right there in it and without anybody watching me or like monitoring me or checking me or anything 
I walked over and picked up my lug suitcase and walked back out the way I came in. It, it, it felt like I'd been led into the land of fairy or something for just that long, yeah. right? The techno fairyland. Um, pull back the veil. That's yeah, the exactly. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. The casinos would be very similar, I imagine. Uh, the, yeah, the Field they, Museum of Natural History in Chicago, where I worked, was like that. Because I worked in those spaces, and then you'd walk around in the public space, and you're like, man, these people don't know anything. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you can cut completely across an right. area by going mm -hmm. behind, you know, the scenes. Just yeah, or that there's this huge genetic lab, like, behind what they think is just like the saber tooth display. Right. You know? So, um, anyway, I... I think that's that that's sort of my visual for what this whole space is like. So it is really open in its very confusing way. Um, and to anybody's perceptions when they go down there, I mean, your drones at first are like, you know, in utter everything is new phase. So it's kind of like they have to poke everything. Um so then uh, some things have been sort of tagged, like, you know, inspected by <laughs> inspected by the thrall, do not touch, you know, consult right. here's, you know, to poke this button for the data we have gleaned from this, you know, look out. Energy. Uh -huh. So, but so far, so far, nobody seems to have like stolen, as far as you can tell, nobody seems to have stolen anything. So, good enough for if you guys want to tell me a little bit about what you want to do that's great i actually was real curious about helma because uh there may be some dice to consider here um the uh the o omac you know will will come over and congratulate you and said you are just brilliant you you got them to come here and they're completely vulnerable nobody likes the scrang everybody knows they got off scot-free from the assassination attempt we we could solve this problem for good right now nisa nalotul is you know kind of into her whole peace and love thing. I don't know why. But, you know, surely, you know, surely you can, you can justify, I mean, you have information that shows they're up to no good, right? Don't you? I mean, they gave you all this information. Can't we interpret it properly? Information properly interpreted shows they are not any danger for us right now. What you are suggest is against any rules we have. Coming to this, so, coming to this place in the first place was against our rules. And we, we need to think flexibly from now on, right? We, You and I talked about this. We need to think flexibly, more openly, be more open to other options and not be bound by everything. Any options have to be make sure that we will be able to survive and to continue our way of life the way we want it. Breaking up this and this gathering and the way you are suggesting, which is the way the spring may or may not have tried, will not serve that purpose.
it's clear that the Luca have already moved on this. And yes, if we the eliminate so. these squang, then it signals to the Luca our willingness to accept their their new position. So that is your analysis of this situation. Are you telling me you can do my job better than I can? Ah. <laughs> um, I think at this point it's probably time for a roll to see whether the uh, the analysts of the CIA or the operations branch of the security <laughs> services who is actually going to be running the joint. I'll let the CIA do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's kind of funny. The, the reason I bring that up is because despite my extraordinary distaste for that organization in all the studies and that i've done and the people that i've talked to the analyst branch has often actually been remarkably sane and they keep getting squelched they keep getting squelched they keep getting over their reports get overwritten for the national intelligence estimate and their and the, the analysts are always like we we told yeah, you we not told you. to do that, <laughs> you know, and so. Oh no, no, that club works, but that's yeah. normal. No, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. Um. So anyway, that's yeah, that's sort of the situation. Yeah. Oh, is, isn't exactly. I mean, people want a result that they can use by like normal. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Let's yeah. see if this is the world where reason prevails. That's what your dice are about to tell us. So let me see. Essentially, yes, the, uh, the problem of the specialist. I do specialist. my analysis uh, trait, actually, because apart from that, I'm trying to argue with him and convince him. And right, that's your goal. Yeah. Exactly. No, yeah. that way it works. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So that gives me two dice. Mm -hmm. And this is other, and I give two. Nice, solid, no frills, you know, no no obvious bad, no obvious good. You're kind of, and you're speaking to a peer. I mean, you and Olmac are actually friends. You both think you're trying to, you know, make the other one. The other person is clearly not seeing things quite right. Surely, with a little um, more, surely with a little more discussion, you know, the opponent yes. will will see the point, right? He just has to calm down. We have to fight solutions. <laughs> where's so where's Dukin? <laughs> where's Dukin? I want a mere cat. The question is, how many of my food I am mm -hmm. going to spend? For, for once to make to prove that analysis is the way to go and to follow the results of it. Let's just if say it, that the I, lives of the lives of about fifteen scrang are on the line here. Yeah, that too. But this is probably more of a professional Oh the discussion, yes. I just I'm talking about certain <laughs> consequences. Okay, I take three pool dice. Oh, I got a one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the most bizarre game I've been in ever. Yeah. <laughs> Where are my failures? That's right. I don't yeah. Like yeah, exactly. You know, and it's funny, people always complain that the pool is too hard. Because if you the best you can get is, you know, up around, uh, you know, it was 80 only you got to push one. hard to get to 80%, right? I mean, you're usually down there around 50, 60%. So, um, let's this see. This is here. unbelievable. I'm using the exact same as I used while we played Chaotic. Ooh. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you now have the choice to either narrate the victory or to take one more pool die. One more. And don't forget, you can always spend pool dice for traits. One, mm. four, or nine. Yeah. You, you know, know what? what? I, I take, take the pool die. Okay. I'm going to upgrade this trait. Oh, excellent. Right. So to move it from plus one to plus two, you will drop three points. I already have it as plus two, so I'm oh. going to move it to plus three. Okay, so that's Just four to nine, so that's five. That's five yes. pool dice. Right. Just wow. to honor this happening. Yeah. Excellent. Base commander. Yeah. Well, you know, yes. they do come back to scroll a lot. Yeah. Okay, so, so here's the, the only thing I have to say about exploring around is whether you get yourselves uh, turned around, lost, or harmed due to the unfamiliarity of the what's down there. Um, there are certain aspects of that that I want to clarify. One thing you're not going to find are uh like well geez do i really want to say this at this point at this time you see no evidence of what everybody wants the special armory with all of the cool okay. weapons that work more efficiently and more powerfully and more conveniently than any weapons that anyone has that's what everybody really wants either that or the cosmic cube that can be like the energy mm -hmm. source and the economic right. source of anything and everything that your people want, right? That, that's the, the, the super energy, super dollar. Right. Right. That, so the right. ultimate nullifier or a cosmic cube. Right. That's what we're looking for. Exactly. You know, and, and so, I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> isn't everybody. Um, it's and right. so, but, but as it turns out, uh, those are not obviously in evidence. Um, so you should let me know whether you are, I'm, I'm debating on whether we need a role being down there or not. It kind of depends on what you do. Your goal, you're, you're seeking more down, correct? That's, that's yes. okay. So that is, what what I'm right. mm -hmm. now there has already been a couple of, of ways down discovered, but they are, um, at this point, access is closed. So you're probably trying to find some other. When I mean access is closed, it means the other groups have said, okay, nobody go down there. We're not done with this spot yet. Right. Um, and so, are we allowed access to it like with our scanning devices or is it just, are these areas that have been corned off by particular peoples to so that they can study it in depth before we get there? Oh, I see. Uh, um, well, geez, that's a very good question. I'm not even sure I you know, know the let's, let's make that roll. Yeah. I'd like to roll for it. Okay. I'd like to, uh, to roll to see. Um, Is anybody compromising this whole agreement? That's what you're looking for. Yes. Ah. So, and I would like to use my new trait that I have, my Hydra's uh, nuanced understanding. Right, right. So, who's, who's up to as, no good uh, here? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we... However, we are going deep. <laughs> it's like we we are going as far as we can. Um, you know, if, if there's danger, we will move through the danger. We, you know. So you're talking primarily that. about the drones, like the drones going everywhere. Yes, okay. and you know, and by extension, then we go. You know, it's like right. if the drone goes down there and says there's something down there, you know, two drones didn't come back, and we send a third. And it's, it's like, like danger, then we'll go down there. And it's like, well, you know, send a different class of drone. Well, I guess that must be me. Right. And uh, okay. then we go. Okay. So now, so Renee, are you going to be doing this kind of aggressive, deep down exploration with Hiver, or are you going to do something else? Oh, uh, no, I'll, I'll stay with Hiver. That's, that's kind of what Duke is about. It's kind okay. of like. You can't, can't learn more unless you put yourself into a moldable situation, okay. you know, and just, just go down there because he, he's got the navigator of the scene. Right. Uh, he's, that's his trait. So I'll, I'll use that trait to, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Okay. So yeah. let's have. Do we, do we ever, do we ever see any of the other people like the Avix? Yes. There, and... there are a few of the others who have been, they're on a, ro they're on a rotating, 
guard management capacity. So the reason that you're not involved in this is because there's very few of you. Right. 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 Um, although I suppose you would have been, you, things were unstable with the hive. So they weren't, that's why they didn't get like a delegation of drones to, right. to, to participate in this. And so everybody else, um, and it, with the exception of the Scrang, who seemed to be busy, um, the, in fact, they're probably saying, you know, where's the Scrang guy? He's supposed to be here. Um, so there's, there's sort of a skeleton rotating multi-people guard shift going on. Well, in passing, I will uh, tell all these other delegates or people that I see that, you know, this is a high receipt hive for me. This is much better than mulching and annihilation of other hives, correct? Hives They're working toward a common goal? Um, this is the weirdest thing they've ever heard from a hiver. Right. <laughs> and they the so the change in you and, and the change in your drones who are making happy buzzy hello noises whenever they see anybody. Um is, is, is everybody's like Yeah, sure. I mean they're just completely completely astonished at, at this entirely different you know, it's, I mean, you couldn't have been more different if you had gone up and like given each of them a flower. Right. So, <laughs> Sorry, I put one in one of the scanning devices. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, close enough. So, but that's kind of the effect that that, that is that that you're you're having on them. They're 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 agreeing with you partly just out of sheer bafflement. 